We all have different stories to tell when it comes to some of the events that have transpired in our lives. Some of us have really experienced dark moments. We've lived through days where it felt as though the weight of the entire world was on our shoulders. Others, we felt as though we've hit rock bottom and we were isolated and forgotten even. But you see, saints, when life brings you to your knees, that's when you are at your strongest. And you're at your strongest because you have done all you can. You've exhausted your own resources and you're now at a place where you have nothing else to give. When you reach this point, when life has brought you to your knees, this is where you should come to the realization that Paul came to in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. The Bible reads, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power, is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. It's in your weakest moment that God's strength is magnified. It's in your darkest moment that the light of Jesus Christ shines the brightest. It's only when you've reached your limit that you can truly understand how limitless our God is. Son of God, daughter of God, whatever you're facing, God's grace is sufficient for you. Whatever challenge you're facing, God's power is made perfect in your weakness. If you feel as though you have hit rock bottom, God's loving kindness and his mercy are more than enough and always available to you, regardless of the situation. So child of God, don't give up. Whatever hardship you face, don't you dare give up. Should you feel outnumbered and overwhelmed, don't give up. Because when you are weak, then you are strong. Now, when you look throughout the Bible, you'll find stories of people who in their weakness demonstrated incredible supernatural strength. Because at the end of their limitations, that's when God took over. David couldn't defeat Goliath on his own. God took over. The three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they couldn't withstand a fiery furnace. God took over. The walls of Jericho came down because God took over. Moses and the children of Israel, they could never have crossed the Red Sea until God took over. The woman with the issue of blood, she couldn't be healed until God took over. All of these people faced different situations and they were all limited in some way. They all had weaknesses, but saints, it's in their weakest moments that God's strength was magnified. And so here's what I'd like to tell you. Let God take over your situation. In your weakness, let God's strength be magnified. Remember that in his word, God has said, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. I'd like for you to pay attention to the words of Jesus in Matthew 7, verses 24 through 27. The Bible reads, Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents 
and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house. It won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. Like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. The way that we prepare to face the challenges of life is by building our house on the solid rock. And that rock is Jesus Christ. You see, this means that when the rains of life pour down, when the river floods or or a tornado hits, nothing can move your house. Nothing can move you because you're standing on the solid rock called Jesus Christ. So, while things are well with you, continue to build your house on Jesus. Continue to stand on the solid rock of ages. And so as we prepare to go to the Lord in prayer, I just encourage you to remember that one day you will be on the other side. One thing is certain, life will present its storms. But there's one thing that is even more certain. If you are rooted in Christ, if you are built on that solid rock, you can withstand. So now let's go to the throne of grace. Lord Jesus, be glorified. Be praised, Father. With you on my side, I will all the more gladly boast in my weaknesses. Lord, when I feel overwhelmed, when I feel powerless, your word in Philippians 4, verse 13, it says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. You are my source of strength. You are my source of power. Father, I look to you for divine intervention when I'm faced with all kinds of difficulties. There's nothing impossible with you. Lord Jesus, when I'm limited, your word in Philippians 4 verse 19 says, And my God will supply every need of yours according to the riches and glory in Christ Jesus. You, Lord, You're rich in power. You're rich in wisdom. And there is nothing that's too difficult for you. Father, you have solutions for anything and everything I could ever face in this world. You have answers far beyond the resources of any expert or any doctor in this world. Your ways, God, are far above. They're far higher than ours. Psalm 40, verses 1 and 2. It says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. I pray that you would hear my cry, Lord Jesus, when my heart is troubled, when I'm weak, When I feel threatened by the enemy, hear my cry, Lord. Set my feet on higher ground and establish my steps, dear God. Whatever challenge may come my way, let me not be daunted and apprehensive. Give me a spirit of boldness, God. Help me to realize that when I have reached my breaking point, you're the one who not only holds me together, but you give me the strength to overcome. I invite you into my life, Lord, into every single part of me. I invite you into my situation. Whether the situation seems good or bad, I want you there, God. Deliver me from my troubles. Fight on my behalf, Lord. Make a way for me where there seems to be no way. Give me the faith to withstand every fiery trial that I face. Give me the grace to overcome any persecution that I might face. And Lord, in all that I do, as I strive to be more and more like you each day, give me the strength to fight 
and persevere. Give me the strength to resist the devil, the strength to fight this flesh and my carnal sinful nature. Give me the strength, Lord, to stand and remain anchored in your word, even when this world offers me many temptations. Your word in Romans 8 verse 26, it says, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Help me in my weakness, Holy Spirit. When I'm unable to pray, when I'm struggling with everything that has come against me, Holy Spirit, may you intercede on my behalf. Lord Jesus, I bless your precious name. God, I love you. I magnify you. I honor you, God. And I thank you for allowing me into your presence. I thank you for hearing my prayer. It's in Jesus' name I pray and I give you all the glory. Amen. The Bible reads, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Like a person who builds a house, on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and the floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. Like a person who builds a house on sand. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. <laughs> 